Hello, my name is Jeremy and I'm a Concrete 5 developer and I'm just here to uh, I want to show you this new add-on that I'm working on for the marketplace called Oembed. So um, here I've already installed it and I just want to show you some of what Oembed can do for you. First off, let's go look at our blog page and this has been set up so you can see the blog is showing content from multiple different sources. Um, this is the Oembed page list block and you can see it's very similar to the existing page list block many of the same options. Um, some of the extras are though this pulling from a content source so you can pick a page attribute and then uh, any attribute within the Oembed attributes uh, section is something that you can pick from. So we're pulling from the Oembed text area. We could pull from a single URL, change it to parses single URL. Publish our changes and you can see we've got different videos here. And also, as most people would do, um, since this is the blog page, we'll pull from the main area on the page. We're going to truncate the summary so you can specify the truncation text and pick whether or not it splits on a tiny MCE or WordPress style page break comment within the text, or whether or not it splits on a bracketed OEMBED break. So you can split those. Um, there are several options you can configure. These are set default in the dashboard and on installation, and then you can customize them for each individual block. So you know you can enable a light box, show the title, the author, whatever, for all your embedded content. Um, then you can preview which pages are going to show up for the first page of results, and then the titles and links. Uh, you know I didn't want to include all of the content here because that can make rendering the interface pretty hard but you'll know which pages you're doing so we'll go ahead and save that again and you can see this is actually pulling from our content on the page so one of the nice things about Oembed is that it actually lets you split on rich text you know um, that's something that most of the other other page lists and whatever do not do um, you can see we've got our light box enabled here if we had more than one embed you could cycle through them uh, when you drill down to the page take a look at what we've got here um, this is the Oembed content block and this part here works just the same as the regular um, regular content block you can do whatever you want to uh, for the editor buttons and whatever and it totally adheres to that um, you can see here we've got Oembed page break that determines where our content is going to split and again you can override the options for any one of these and I'll show you one that has that to begin with. Um, I guess actually something else is you can see here we've got just a URL inside of a paragraph tag. Um, here it is again. Uh, just that URL inside of a paragraph tag will get replaced. Uh, what you can do if you want to split in the middle of a paragraph tag or just want more control or want to do this with a page attribute or description where you don't have rich text you can wrap it in uh, brackets like this and that will be replaced as well so you know, here you can see all of our different contents is being replaced. Uh, what this really does is it lets you just create content on your site much quicker without having to, you know, add a block of 
content and then add a different block for a video and then add a different block for a photo. You can just do all of that right from Composer, right from your page list or your content block. Um, we'll add another test here. And let me pull up some content. Uh, one thing that I have noticed is if you're copying from Tiny MCE to Tiny MCE, uh, I can demonstrate this actually. So there it looks like. Uh, sorry. Uh, so if we just copy and paste like that, it looks like normal content, but this probably won't get parsed. If you look at the source, and there it didn't happen, but a lot of times the URL will get surrounded by spans. That's one thing to look out for that might prevent it from displaying. But this is fully integrated with Composer, so you can still override any of your options here, work the tabs, whatever. Um, we'll publish this. And you can see it just replaces all our content. So if we come back up to the blog, we didn't put a page break in on this, so it's going to display everything. And you can see the um, content here is showing different, it's showing the full YouTube link and the content and everything because the settings for our page list are different for the actual blocks. These are also set up, this has the light box enabled, so you can switch between all of these, the videos work to play. Uh, you can also, this is completely responsive, so no matter what size screen the client has, it's going to work for you. Pause that so we don't have the noise going. Uh, so you know that also gives you quite a bit of control when it, when the page list block renders these, each individual page is going to become its own slideshow. Like this one that we have down here, you can see it's a completely different group. And the same thing goes for content blocks within pages. You can have multiple content blocks within a page. Um, the content block does have a... Um, this is going to take a second. I, I have the cache set very, very low, so it takes a few seconds to re-render everything. This template is using Isotope to render all of the content. So, you see it works the same for looping through everything. But in order to create this, it's very simple. It's just a bunch of URLs. And really that's the whole beauty of this system is you just put in a URL and it takes care of everything else. One other thing I'd like to show you is in the settings you can enable an Embedly API key and what that does is Embedly is a service and this is optional, I'm not sure why it's not showing the optional pop-up thing right there. I'll fix that in a second. Uh, anyways, it lets you use up to 250 different providers. Uh, by default, the block allows you to do uh, you know, just about, I think, 10 different providers. And that's one of the things on the roadmap is finding more providers and incorporating them into the default block. Um, in Bedly, what you can do is up to 5,000 URLs per month, completely free if you have an API key. And it will you know, convert just about anything. They have a full list of vendors. Um, so if you go over that, you can do up to 50,000 for $19 a month. And I'm not like a shill for them or anything. It's just you know, one of the services online that does that. Um, probably, I think, really the only one. Uh, so here you can control how long things are cached. So if you set your cache for six months, then you're not going to hit that number very high because it's not going to be re-rendering 
the URL every time. Uh, even if you use the same URL in a block twice, save the block, it's going to go back to the cache data for the block, for the embed, and not the cache for the block. Uh, if you clear the entire cache, that wipes everything out and then everything has to be parsed again. Uh, this is also where you set the defaults for everything that we saw in the block editing screens. And, uh, yeah, I guess really that's about it. I mean, as you can see, I told you it was fully responsive, so if we add oembed content here... It's going to put it right directly there in the sidebar and it's going to make sure that it fits with the sidebar. And that'll work for video and images and everything. Um, I'll be putting up a more detailed blog post that shows you how to set all of this up and go through it. Um, there's documentation on WorseNet, but really I think this is going to transform how you approach putting content into your Concrete 5 websites. Uh, I've also set it up to be as extensible as possible for other developers. So if you want to use the helpers in OEmbed to create your own blocks, create your own page lists, whatever, you can totally do that. And you can even specify exactly what template you want to apply using package elements or system elements for each different type of embed. Uh, I'm going to show you kind of the different types that are possible. If we go to the custom templates here, uh, we have a meta dump template, which is kind of for debugging purposes. That shows you how to assign the different URLs. And uh, I'm not sure why that's taking so long. Hopefully it'll come up here in a second. Uh, so that just outputs everything in a little text block and we'll see that in a second so you can see exactly what data is being returned from the provider so as you can see uh, this one the type is video this one the type is photo this one's a photo photo um, so for photo, for video, there's rich text, there's link, and I think that's it. Uh, but so you can define exactly how each one of those is going to be processed and what it's going to look like. Um, yeah, so I guess that's it. That's my new package. It's in the marketplace now, or in marketplace review now, and in the marketplace soon. By the time you see this, it'll be in the marketplace. So, um, yeah, hopefully people like it.